the situation is still complex at the site, which is normal if you consider that uh, usually uh, the commissioning project of a nuclear facility is a very difficult project, even more uh, for a nuclear uh, accident uh, facility. Um, we have observed a number of activities at the site, a number of uh, tasks, and maybe it's a bit uh, premature to give you a final conclusion of the mission on the progress achieved by the, the uh, TEPCO and the operators of the, of the site. But uh, uh, it is obvious also that we have uh, um, observed very significant progress in relevant areas. I would uh, mention, for example, that the, they have already concluded the removal of uh, fuel from the spent fuel pool of the Unit 4. They have already uh, started uh, to work, the, to operate the pumping system of underground water to the sea just to alleviate the situation related with the contaminated water which is accumulated at the site. They have also accomplished a very good uh, cleanup of the, of the uh, site which is very relevant from the viewpoint that the uh, radiological conditions have been dramatically enhanced will, uh, that uh, allows a better environmental uh, working condition for the workers. And maybe we can also mention that they have also installed a very numerous uh, uh, treatment systems which uh, will contribute to enhance the, uh, the contamination of uh, the water contaminated. At the short term, it is obvious that the main challenge they have to affront is uh, this related with the accumulation of water that uh, results in uh, the accumulation of uh, contaminated water. For that uh, issue, they have a very comprehensive uh, set of uh, measures to be implemented. They already implemented some of them and they have plans to continue implementing the rest of the issues of the measures to alleviate this situation. And this is for the short term, but it is obvious that for the long term, the most uh, relevant and the most challenging issue is the, will be the removal of the damaged fuel and the uh, nuclear fuel debris. Well, the main tool to contribute uh, to the Fukushima project, uh, for sure that it is uh, our uh, IAEA safety standards, which uh, cover a very uh, broad uh, range of uh, activities or issues related with the Fukushima decommissioning project. Beyond that, I think the agency could play an instrumental role in uh, enhancing the interaction between the international community and uh, the uh, licenses uh, dealing with the issue in Fukushima. Just to channelize the uh, international community assistance, uh, to give them uh, uh, good practices uh, and uh, assistance on, on how to accomplish difficult tasks. And also I think it's very important, for example, conducting these kind of missions where we can provide them an in, with an independent uh, assessment of uh, the situation and the plans they have to continue the decommissioning project. And we are using these uh, missions also to channelize international assistance to Japan and additionally to obtain lessons and experience to be disseminated along the international community.